Hello and welcome to Friday's forecast from the Met Office. If you had an uncomfortable night of sleep on Thursday night, well, you can blame the humidity because that humidity is rising across the UK, leading to muggy temperatures at night, but also grey misty skies first thing in many locations. And later on, some heavy thunderstorms will develop. Not everywhere, but some places will get quite a deluge. Some sunshine first thing across central and western Scotland, but a lot of this cloud, low cloud, we've seen a lot of har around coastal areas through the week, and that's crept inland in places through the night. Some additional cloud there for Northern Ireland, Northern England, and again, some of this misty low cloud around coasts and also over the hills. A grey start across much of England and Wales, and following Thursday's storms, well, we've still got some heavy rain to start with across Wales downpours in places, warnings in force, and it's always worth checking the latest on the Met Office website. But through the course of Friday afternoon, the focus for thunderstorms starts to shift northwards. Northwest England, the Midlands again into East Anglia, and then southern and central Scotland in particular, as well as Northern Ireland. Once more, we're facing the risk of 20, 30 millimetres of rainfall in an hour, more than that over a few hours, as well as hail and lightning. Localised flash flooding possible, as well as obviously tricky driving conditions as we end Friday. This is the picture first thing Saturday. Again, a lot of cloud cover. The thunderstorms and showers generally fading away through the night, but another muggy night to come. Just some clearer air coming into the southwest there. And that's a theme as we go into the weekend. It's more settled, clearer, fresher air arriving into southern parts of England and Wales. But the risk of thunderstorms, the high humidity moving its way northwards. And on Saturday, the risk area really from East Anglia up through eastern and northern parts of England, across much of Scotland there, as well as Northern Ireland in this area where we could see further torrential downpours. And in particular for Scotland and Northern Ireland, again, the risk of flash flooding where we get some of these really big thunderstorms occurring. Some places, of course, escaping with a dry day. You don't get thunderstorms everywhere all the time. But where they do occur, you've got torrential rain, hail, lightning as well. So uh, certainly worth keeping up to date with the very latest via the Met Office website, via our app and via our social media channels. Met Office weather warnings will be updated as and when we get more information. So uh, yes, always worth keep, uh, keeping up to date if you're in one of these areas likely to be affected. Bye-bye.